after declaring for days that it is ready to fight a two-front war, Israel's defense minister on Saturday announced that the Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon is paying the price for taking part in the war against it. Ever since the war started between Israel and Hamas, Israeli defense forces have been exchanging fire with Hezbollah on the Lebanese border. While an Israeli soldier was killed in a missile attack on Saturday. And that is the day before the Israeli army released footage of its forces targeting Hezbollah infrastructure, including an observation post in Lebanon. But Hezbollah poses a bigger danger to Israel than Hamas. Let's take a look at how Hezbollah is a Shiite militant group based in Lebanon compared to Hamas. Now, Hezbollah is, has an extensive security apparatus. The group in its manifesto has promised to expel Western powers. It called for destruction of Israeli state and also pledged allegiance to Iran's supreme leader in 1978. Hezbollah is led by Hassan Nasrallah, who took over as Secretary General in 1992. This was after the previous leader, Abbas ul Musawi, was assassinated by Israel. Nasrallah oversees the seven member Shuara Council and its five sub councils. And according to the US Department, Hezbollah has tens of thousands of members and supporters worldwide. According to the International Institute for Strategic Affairs, Hezbollah has 20,000 active fighters and 20,000 reserves in the year 2020. The group also boasts of a stockpile of, of over 150,000 rockets and missiles, many long-range and precision-guided. Fateh 110 and M600 are some of the longest-ranged weapons in the Hezbollah arsenal. Experts say that Hezbollah possesses a larger arsenal of artillery than most nations enjoy. Well, not only this, the 2018 report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies called it the world's most heavily armed non-state actor. So at a time when Israel's much touted Iron Dome could not take a volley of Hamas rockets coming in from Gaza, Hezbollah's bigger arsenal of tens of thousands of rockets, it clearly poses a bigger danger threat. The war between Israel and Hezbollah goes back to Israel's occupation of southern Lebanon in 1978. Even after Israel officially withdrew from southern Lebanon in 2000, it continued to clash with Hezbollah. Hezbollah has also been blamed for attacks on Israeli targets abroad. Israeli tanks and troops have been stationed along Lebanon and it has also evacuated its citizens from the border areas.